Hello, hello, hello. Hi, this is Jan here in Ireland and I am finally taking up the mic, the microphone on this uh, talking on camera for presenters. Hello, 4% family. Uh, this is a great idea, by the way, uh, Sasha, Bruce. Um, it's a great idea to have this group into place, of course, um, for people to practice on camera. Okay, practice, practice, practice. This is great. Uh, myself, I've been on camera for a while, but I still, I still get nervous. I still become self-conscious no matter what I do. So I thought it was an amazing idea. And um, it was funny when I first saw the invite to um, the post in the 4% group, practice your Facebook Live. I was just in bed. It was the morning. I was just in bed thinking um, how people are terrified of the camera. And I was thinking how, yes, video, video marketing is amazing. And it would be a shame to miss out on it as a marketer, um, YouTube and Facebook is copying onto it now and all that. And I was thinking, but some people are terrified. Now, of course, we only see the people who are doing it. We don't think of the, the people who are not doing it. And I know, I know for a fact that people are terrified of being on the camera. It's that very, it's just that first step, the beginning, isn't it? Hey, um, actually, is it, this is my first, this is my third Facebook Live, so I'm not very familiar with everything. Is there, I don't even know. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, yeah, there's somebody watching. So anyway, and I'm not even sure if the sound is working, so please let me know. Okay, maybe I'll write a comment here, because I know I've been tr having trouble with the sound on my laptop, on my phone. I don't know why. So um, ask, is my sound working all right for now and for better? No, and um, so yeah, I was just saying how people are terrified of the camera. If you are here, let me know who you are. Sound is good, yes. Thanks, Mohammed. <laughs> it's good to have one viewer. Sound is working excellent. So, how people are terrified of camera, even if it's not you know on social media. Um, I used to take my um, my phone here in my local community where I live in Galway in a small village and I used to just walk around and you know take videos and sometimes interview people but put them on the spot and say hi you know like just say hi to the camera something simple as that and people would freeze completely freeze that they would, wouldn't even be able to say hello they're just like oh no 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 I was like, it's okay, it's just a camera. I'm not going to show it to anybody, you know, it's just for myself. So just to show you how um, people become terrified. And these are normal, outgoing, um, very social people normally wouldn't have a problem. So really, so I was thinking, what is this fear? What is, is this fear? And so, I mean, because a camera is just an object, right? This fear of being in front of camera. So is it the fear of other people watching you? You know, probably that, you know, being self-conscious, being people watching you, people judging you, people who are going to see you, people who are going to judge you. But really, uh, what we're doing, we're judging ourselves, I think. We're judging ourselves. And we all tend, we all have those issues, you know, comparing ourselves to others and because you know we've seen people who we think are better it's keeping us where we are so what sasha and bruce are saying is is right you know like um it, you don't have to be perfect this is a great platform for you to be hesitant to practice being imperfect um but then before um before i got the invite to this group i was thinking how how can i help sorry my hair is messy i'm just out of bed this morning here in Ireland, by the way, it's, that's why there's nobody around except Mohammed. Um, what time is it where you are, Mohammed? Where are you? Because um, I'm in Ireland, and of course here we're kind of an um, European zone. Anybody uh, from Ireland, by the way, would love to connect. Anybody from Europe, anybody from France, I'm originally from France. Uh, please connect very very lonely here in Ireland even though I do connect with you guys my 4% family all over the world every day it can be a bit lonely at times and so I'd love to connect with anybody anybody I really I, I really 
you know, make sure I make time with people who need to connect. Um, what was I saying again? I lost my train of thought about the fear of camera. 11.20 in Riyadh is that in the morning, I assume it's a.m. It's a.m. No, this, oh, yes, yeah, so you're two hours. You're two hours ahead of me, Mohammed. Great, we're not too far, time-wise. <laughs> so that means we can connect. Uh, fear of camera. Oh, yeah, so I was thinking of ideas how to get people comfortable in front of the camera. And um, so, by the way, I've on, I'm only just back into marketing. I have a bit of experience marketing on the internet in the past, um, in, I thought in 2011, and then I stopped and did nothing for three and a half years. So I did absolutely nothing, no videos, no marketing. I barely went on Facebook for three, on, uh, three and a half years uh, due to personal circumstances, uh, which I'll tell you all about another day. And so therefore for me, it's uh, starting all over again with the challenge and I'm loving it. I'm loving the relearn, the relearning, the, the um, internalizing things that, you know, I knew I didn't know. I mean, the challenge is so well designed. It is amazing. It's fantastic. Keep at it. Keep at it. So how do you overcome that fear? AM? Yes, it's morning there as well. Excellent. Okay, great, Mohammed. I look forward to seeing you live next time. Uh, or maybe you have, I don't know. You know, I'm not very good at keeping an eye on things. Um, oh, yeah, so I think it was Sasha was saying, you know, speak in front of the mirror, practice in front of the mirror. That is a great idea. That's what I was thinking. You know, start with the mirror. But even in the mirror, I know myself, if I look at myself in the mirror, I still... I still have this tendency to to not be natural, to not be myself, you know, sometimes um, to look at myself in the eyes, you know, it's something I avoid, you know. So some people are really, really self-conscious and you think, oh, Jen, <laughs> you're not. I am actually, I am very shy, introvert person originally. But practice, you know, this is practice that made me seem like I am comfortable because maybe I have become comfortable. But I'm someone who used to hate speaking on the phone, you know, at the time when there was no, when there was no, um, no Skype or internet, just picking up the phone and speaking to even to friends or family member, I hated it. Um, so again, I'm getting off track again. Oh, yes, yeah, so practice in front of the mirror. Maybe do something like that where you look at yourself, speak to yourself, make an affirmation. You know, I am great. Um, you are beautiful until, until you're so comfortable that, you know, it is, it becomes natural. Becoming uh, comfortable in front of the mirror, I think, should be the first step. You know, the mirror is not a camera, but it is a reflection of yourself, and you're watching yourself and you're judging yourself. So that's something we can do. That's something we can do for free every day. It doesn't take any extra time until you're so comfortable. And then I was thinking the next step, what we could do, what you could do if you're still terrified of being on camera in front of people is start recording. You know, you have the technology in your hand, you have the phone, you have your laptop, you have a tablet, start recording. You don't have to publish it. Record it, record it, and pretend, act as if maybe you will publish it, you know, and then watch yourself. And then, of course, you're going to cringe and you're going to, oh, no, look at me here. Or you're going to say, oh, hey, not so bad, you know, and then maybe do that every day on a daily basis. Record yourself, watch it. And maybe one day you're going to think, this is not bad. I'm going to actually publish this, publish this somewhere on some platform on YouTube. Okay. Maybe you have a channel with no subscribers. Why not publish it and see what happens? And then, you know, maybe the confidence will grow like that. You'll get some feedback. Maybe you'll publish it on your own Facebook wall or share it with some friends, get some feedback, some positive feedback, and that's it. You're good to go. And of course, come here in the in this group and practice your Facebook Live. It is the best thing that you can do. Um, so I was saying, um, I did my first Facebook Live on my personal wall, believe it or not, because um, I knew the option was there, but I never really, I don't know, I really <laughs> never used it over the years. And uh, so 
I said, I'm going to practice on my own private wall over the weekend because Ed Sheeran was in town. <clears throat> Ed Sheeran has some strong connection with Galway, the town I live in. It's a small town in the west of Ireland. So Ed Sheeran was in town, big deal. Everybody was excited. My daughter was working at the concert. I had to drop her there. So I said, I'm going to practice my Facebook Live by um, going around with the camera. And of course, I learned. And surprisingly, even though I wasn't selling anything, I was just showing people around. Oh, this is where Ed Sheeran filmed um, the Galway Girl. This is uh, Look at the People. This is Galway Island. You know, I was just being kind of a tourist guide. <clears throat> and um, I realized I was getting nervous myself. I was like, what am I doing? Why am I shaking? Why, why am I, you know, so this fear, this conditioning, I guess that comes back to the paradigm, you know, the, the conditioning that we have in our subconscious, you know, Vic talks about in the challenge sessions, uh, comes back automatically. But then after a few seconds, a few minutes, you become comfortable. So, but anyway, it was good practice because, you know, I realized, you know, my connection wasn't so great that, you know, I shouldn't be in a place where it's windy. I shouldn't be driving around. But anyway, it was fun. I did it. I was glad I did it. And it gave me a feel for it. So that's one thing you can do. Um, practice your Facebook Live, not selling anything, just showing something interesting that, you know, people will watch. And um, another thing now um, that makes us nervous, I think, is, um, is, of course, people watching us, people judging us, people, especially on Facebook, our friends, friends that we haven't seen or talked to in years, have no idea what we're doing. Um, they've no idea that we're doing some type of online marketing. That's another thing I wanted to ask you guys. I mean, do you, do the people around you, your friends, your family, do they know what you're doing when you're doing the 4% challenge? Or is that something that you keep for yourself? I'm just very curious about that. Um, personally, I don't, I don't tell or I don't hide it to anybody. Now, obviously my, my mother, and my daughter live with me so they can see me uh, talking to the computer sometimes. Um, so they have an idea what's going on. But beside that, my friends, they just don't have any idea now. Not because, um, I don't know, not because I don't want them to know or I'm embarrassed. It's because I know that um, they, a lot of times, they just wouldn't understand. They wouldn't understand so, but I don't hide it. And I kind of like to keep this part um, private in my life because I have you guys to connect with. Um, but yes, it would be amazing to connect in um, live, in real life at the events. I so look forward to going to the events because I am going to go to the events, the live events, wherever that is, uh, probably in the US, I assume. And so I'm going to do everything possible to go there. And I hope we can connect because um, that's what it's all about, right? Connection. So, yeah, I don't particularly tell people, oh, I have a second viewer. Um, whoever that is. So how come I can't see? This is my first Facebook Live in this group. How come I can't see who is on? Or is there a way for me to find out who's on unless you make a comment? Is that it? So whoever's watching, this is Jen here in, in Ireland. It's actually half nine in the morning. And I said I would uh, share some thoughts on the fear of camera. So I was saying uh, practice in front of the mirror until you become comfortable because sometimes we're not comfortable in front of the mirror. Then I was saying practice recording. Make recordings even if you're not going to publish them. Record, record, record. And who knows, you know, choose topics that are going to be interesting to people because you might have the courage to publish that recording. And then press the publish button. Oh, another idea I had was um, Periscope. Remember that platform, Periscope? It's live broadcasting all over the world. Um, I, I did try Periscope a few years ago again. I haven't done it in years. And I was wondering what happened to that. Nobody talks about Periscope anymore. It's live broadcasting. People anywhere in the world 
can actually, you don't have to be connected, you don't need to have friends, anyone can watch your live broadcast. So for some people, just um, the fact that they are complete strangers that are watching you is sometimes easier because you know they're not your Facebook friends or people that are going to recognize you or judge you. You know, sometimes you just don't care. So maybe that would be a good way to practice. Just install the app on your phone and start broadcasting to strangers. You know, and you might, you know, you might enjoy it. You might make some connection for your business. Um, you know, Periscope is something you can explore, I think, as well. So that's it. That's what I wanted to share. Now, I know it's early in the morning. So therefore, most of you are in bed. People in the U.S., you're five hours behind. So hopefully some of you guys will catch this later on and will give me some feedback. Thank you, Mohammed, for watching and whoever else is there. Um, this is Jennifer Sada, live from the West Coast of Ireland in my kitchen. This is my kitchen, by the way, who is also my office, who is also the dining room. Uh, who is, why I'm saying who is, that is also um, the place where I teach. Um, this is my classroom. I am a language teacher. I teach French. Okay, enough, <laughs> enough ranting, Jen. Um, I wish there was a bit more people, but anyway, it was good to do this Facebook Live. Um, I thought this um, will help and encourage some of you to get in front of the camera and start blabbering about anything. You know, feel the fear and do it anyway, because the fear doesn't last anyway. The fear comes before, before you take action. That is when, so we're keeping ourselves in our fear. That's when things are scary. <laughs> Okay, Jennifer Sada signing off. I have a third viewer, whoever that is. Hello. Um, can you tell me, is there a way I can see people? I don't know. Is there a way I can see who is on? There must be. There must be a way. Because I can see the comments, but I can't see. Or maybe I'm not in the right view. Anyway. I'm going to have to watch. Um, somebody posted a good tutorial on Facebook Live. Uh, Janine, I think. I'm going to have to rewatch that and um, educate myself a little bit more. Okay, guys, have a great day. I'm going to start with my challenge session now. Um, I've been stalling. I think I'm in session 14, 15 for the past week, maybe. Um, but, you know, as they say, is no, it's not a race. Um, for me, I don't like to skip ahead until I have everything. Thanks for the like. Okay, I get likes. I don't like to go ahead unless I have everything, um, I have a certain confidence, you know. So um, the reason I'm not moving forward is because click magic and click funnels, I'm still not very familiar with those. I mean, I'm able to use them, but I don't feel like I have mastered them. Again, that's what Vic is asking, to master those. So I want to spend a bit of time on that. And also, I still need to get my E stage. You know, I feel like everything, my marketing is not, is not, I know the E stage is missing, you know, because I'm setting people back to, you know, my Facebook page instead of my E stage, you know, when we're supposed to build ourselves. So... I can't wait to get East stage, but I also know that's going to be a lot of work. And um, time is precious. I can only give one, two hours a day to my, um, to my marketing business as I am, okay, as I am, <clears throat> I still don't know <clears throat> who's on, sorry. Um, I am a full-time single parent. It's Miwa. Oh, from Korea, Miwa, hello. That is a whole other time zone because Korea is, let me guess, probably eight hours ahead. Um, I'm half Japanese myself, so I used to live in Japan. So I know in Japan, the eight hours ahead, South Korea must be similar. What time is it, Miwa, in, um, in Korea right now? Okay, see, we can connect with people in different time zone. We have Riyadh and South Korea and Ireland that are awake at the moment. Um, okay, Miwa, let me know what time it is over there. And I look forward to seeing you uh, live on this Facebook Live in a group. 
So what was I saying? Oh yeah, time, time to get organized with your time. Uh, because I am a full-time single parent. My daughter is now 18. She's doing exam this year, 5.36 p.m. So that is, I have to count my finger, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. That's eight hours ahead. You're eight hours ahead, Miwa. That's great. I remember that because it's like Japan and my sisters, my nieces, my family live in Japan. So uh, in the morning is when I call them. I usually give them a call in the morning on WhatsApp. Technology is great, isn't it? You can connect with your family all over the world. And so as I was saying, um, yeah, it doesn't matter what your, you know, your personal, I mean, we all have lives, we all have situations, we all have challenges we have families and things we need to deal on a daily basis and i know myself i need to be more efficient in my daily routine um i need with my time you know i feel that's where i'm um, i'm losing out a lot to be more efficient with my time um so that is something i'm working on let me know how you deal with that time management and hi Gallo, Polycarpio, and Gallo is from where? These people, oh, everybody's waking up now. Um, Gallo, I was talking about how um, it's great to connect with people um, from all over the world, different time zones. Can you please tell me where you are? Because we have Miwa from Korea, we have Mohammed from uh, Riyadh, and we had, um, oh, we have Jennifer from Ireland. <laughs> Uh, Gallo, I'm on, just wondering what country you are in, and how do I find out? Oh, here, Washington. Are you in Washington? You're in the U.S. Well, you're up early. You're up early, I'm guessing. I don't know. And um, so, yeah, time management. Maybe that's something we'll talk about next time. Okay. Uh, speaking of time management, I'm gonna to get. I'm going to get my uh, day in order. And because a morning is quiet time for me, um, oh yeah, I was just saying um, I am a full-time um, single parent also, as well as that I'm a full-time carer for my mother who has early onset Alzheimer's. So I'm looking after my daughter and my mother. And so it's just the three of us in the house. And, um, and so the day is filled with looking after them. My daughter is doing exam this year. Uh, my mom needs attention all the time. You know, it is like having just come. She's come to live with me a couple of years ago. It's like having um, a young child in the house again. She's she's losing her cognitive abilities, and um, just got off my job. One thirty eight a.m. Okay, that is early. So that's night time for you. I hope you're going to bed soon. I'm gonna get some sleep, Gallo. But fair play for checking out what's going on um, on the World Wide Web, on the internet right now. Um, I hope you get a bit of rest and that you'll be ready for a bit of marketing, that you have some energy left. Um, yeah, I was talking about time management and how, so even though I don't have a full-time job and I am so grateful for that, um, I am a teacher, so I teach from home, and I'm so grateful that I can do that because that allows me to care for my mother uh, full time. Uh, she requires attention 24 hour basically, and my daughter is 18 and she's doing the exam this year, so she needs my support as well. So I'm able to do a bit of marketing here and there, and I'm checking out the Facebook Live. Okay, this is going on a bit long, I think. I think we're supposed to keep those short. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the recommended time frame is for a Facebook Live. But anyway, this is a great practice. Uh, I'm loving it, and I'm going to do this more often, maybe in a more organized way the next time. And I look forward to connecting with all of you guys um, don't hesitate if you want to connect with me personally. Um, I love to do that with people all over the world. Miwa is in Korea and Mohammed is in Riyadh, which is, I can't even think what country it is now, uh, Mohammed. Riyadh is in, I did a course in travel and tourism, so I should know. Man, ah, oh, I haven't. I have on the tip of my tongue. 
Okay, I'm gonna have to Google it. <laughs> Unless you tell me. And Gallo is in Washington, just off work. Okay, so this is Jennifer and Galway from the West Coast of Ireland. I'm going to say bye for now and I hope to connect with you guys very soon again. Thank you, Sasha and Bruce, for setting up this group. This is an amazing idea. We should all be fighting for some space on this um, Facebook Live platform. I'll talk to you soon again. Bye. How do I end this? Oh, yeah, the red button. Thanks for the heart. Okay, oh yeah, end.